Before we enter into prayer, I want to share some thoughts with you. In our everyday lives, we take many precautions to safeguard ourselves from potential dangers. We lock our doors at night, secure our windows, and might even install advanced security systems to protect our homes. Some of us carry pepper spray or attend self-defense classes to prepare for unexpected threats. These are all wise measures, considering we live in a world filled with uncertainty and risk. However, despite our best efforts, there are times when we may find ourselves vulnerable due to a moment of distraction or poor judgment. This can be unsettling, as it reminds us that we cannot rely solely on our own efforts for safety. But here's the encouraging news, when you put your trust in God, you gain access to a protection that transcends anything you can achieve on your own. God assures us that no weapon, whether it be physical harm, harmful words, or malicious intent, can prevail against us. This divine protection is not something we earn through our strength or actions, it is a gracious gift from God, born out of His infinite love and power. This promise from God reassures us that our safety and security rest in His capable hands, not our own. It encourages us to depend not on our abilities, but on the grace and might of the Almighty. Yet, it's essential to understand that this promise does not imply we will never encounter challenges or difficulties in life. The reality is that as long as we are in this world, we will face trials and adversities. But here's the beautiful part, when you trust in the Lord, you are never alone in these struggles. You are enveloped by His divine protection, empowering you to face life's challenges with a peace and confidence that surpasses your circumstances. Even when everything around you seems chaotic and unpredictable, you can find comfort in knowing that God is in control. He is your ultimate protector and nothing can stand against His mighty power. Proverbs 18 verse 10 assures us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and are safe. This verse beautifully illustrates the security found in God. Just as a strong tower offers refuge from storms, the name of the Lord provides protection in times of trouble. When you turn to God, you find shelter where you can be shielded from life's storms. The story of Daniel in the lion's den is a powerful testament to this divine protection. Despite knowing the risk, Daniel continued to pray to God, even when it was forbidden by the king. His unwavering faith led him into a den of lions, yet God's protection kept him safe. The mouths of the lions were shut, and Daniel emerged unharmed. This miraculous story is not just a tale from history, it is a vivid reminder that God's protection is real and available to you today. You can trust in His watchful care, knowing that He is always by your side. Now, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that it is you who watches over me and keeps me safe. Your word in Psalm 68 verses 5 to 6 reminds us that you are a father to the fatherless and a defender of widows. You provide for the lonely and lead captives to freedom. In the midst of the chaos around me, I find my strength in you. I take comfort in your loving care and place my trust in your mighty power. I know that regardless of the challenges I face, I am safe in your hands. Your word also teaches us in Hebrews 12 verse 2 to fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Help me to stay focused on him not getting distracted by the struggles around me but instead keeping my gaze on the one who has already triumphed over the world. Holy Spirit, guide me to constantly examine my heart and mind, 
ensuring my focus remains on Christ, my hope and salvation. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your goodness and mercy. I turn to you because you took my sins upon yourself on the cross, redeeming me and saving me. I am eternally grateful for your sacrifice. Without you, I would be lost. Without the shedding of your precious blood, I would have no salvation. There is no one like you, King Jesus. That is why my eyes will remain steadfast on you. You reached out to me with your love and called me to repentance. Because of your great love, I rejoice and proclaim all praise and honor to the Most High. I am saved, sanctified, and redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. In you, Jesus, I place my hope, you never disappoint. My Heavenly Father, I praise you because you alone are worthy of all praise. Your word in Isaiah 40 verse 29 tells us that you give strength to the weary and increase the power of the weak. Father, when I feel weak or weary, grant me renewed strength. Let me not grow tired of doing good, but empower me to face each day with confidence, knowing that you, Lord Jesus, are greater than anything I will encounter in this world. You are my strength, my refuge, and my ever-present help in times of trouble. When I feel inadequate or tempted to believe I lack resources, may I remember your promise in Psalm 34 verse 10, that while lions may grow weak and hungry, those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Lord, I lack nothing because you are my good shepherd. Your rod and staff guide, protect, and keep me close to you. Your word reassures us that you are not like humans who lie or change their minds. When you speak, you act. When you promise, you fulfill. It is you, Lord Jesus, who leads me through the valley of the shadow of death. Even in my darkest moments, you offer peace. When I am weak, tired, or afraid, you make your presence known. You are the friend who sticks closer than a brother. You are my defender, my strong tower, and I am safe in your presence. I bless your name, Lord, and thank you for your loving kindness. Protect me today, in every way. Cover me, Lord Jesus, with your mighty hand. Thank you for hearing my prayers and for being a loving God who favors me. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If this prayer has touched your heart, please type, Amen. May every blessing in this prayer be upon you in the name of Jesus. Please let us know in the comments if you would like us to pray for you specifically. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. As we reflect on your goodness, Lord, I am reminded of Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2, which declares, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. This verse reassures us that when we seek your presence, we find refuge. May I dwell in your secret place daily, drawing strength and courage from the shelter of your wings. Heavenly Father, I pray for the courage to stand firm in my faith, as it is written in Ephesians 6 verse 10, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Help me to wear the full armor of God, so I can take my stand against the challenges I face. May your strength empower me to fight against doubt, fear, and anxiety, knowing that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. In moments of uncertainty, Lord, remind me of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, where you say, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I trust that your plans for my life are filled with purpose, hope, and a bright future, even when I can't see the way forward. Help me to surrender my doubts and fears into your hands and to walk confidently in faith. Lord, I also ask for your wisdom and guidance, as promised in James 1 verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. As I navigate through life's challenges, grant me discernment to make the right decisions and clarity in times of confusion. I place my trust in you, knowing that you will lead me on the right path. As I face daily challenges, let me hold on to the promise found in Romans 8 verse 28, which assures us that, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. May I remember that every obstacle is an opportunity for growth, and every setback is part of your divine plan. Help me to see the good that can arise from my struggles, and instill in me a spirit of resilience. Lord, I thank you for the community of believers around me. Help us to support one another in love and unity, as instructed in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. May our hearts be filled with love and compassion, so we can uplift each other during tough times. Teach us to be your hands and feet, bringing hope to those who are weary and in need. Lastly, Lord, I surrender my worries and anxieties to you, following the counsel of Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, which says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Help me to replace my worries with prayer and gratitude, trusting that your peace will guard my heart and mind. As I continue on my journey, let me hold on to the truth found in Romans 8 verse 31, If God is for us, who can be against us? I stand strong in this assurance, confident that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, as promised in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I lift my fears and worries to you, Lord, knowing that your peace surpasses all understanding. Lord Jesus, thank you for your ultimate sacrifice that grants me access to your unfailing love and protection. I rejoice in Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, where you remind us to not be anxious but to present our requests to you. I bring my concerns before you now, trusting that your peace will guard my heart and mind. I also lift up my loved ones to you, asking for your protection over their lives. Cover them with your precious blood, and shield them from harm. I find comfort in the promise of Psalm 68 verse 5, which says, A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. Thank you for being our defender and our source of strength. As I close this prayer, I want to express my gratitude once again. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and for hearing my prayers. If this prayer has touched your heart, I invite you to type, Amen, in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow this community and share God's love with more people. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us stay connected and uplift each other through prayer and support. Amen.